Hello Cancers, this is your daily read for August 28th. Take what resonates, so leave the rest. Alright, Spirit, what do you got for my Cancer babies for today? For the star, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, you don't have to be. Star is all about healing. Um, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Emperor, and we have the Three of Pentacles. You are definitely trying to build up some kind of home. You are trying to build up uh, money. You're trying to get something going for yourself here. We have the emperor. You're dealing with somebody who could be standing strong, um, could be stubborn right now. But you also see this energy as being deceptive. We have the knight of wands. Um, you're also dealing with some immature energies. We also have the nine of swords. Yeah, you're in your head about some stuff here. Um, Seven of Swords is a sense of deception. There could be somebody that came into your life and they're saying, okay, hi, I'm healed. I'm here to help. I'm here to, you know, to be present. But this person may have been deceptive in the past or you could have been deceptive to them. Um, the Emperor could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a fire sign, which is uh, Sagittarius Leo Aries. Bottom deck energy is the page of wands. So you're in your head about it. You're kind of stressed out, but you're trying to figure out a good plan as to where you're going to take your movement next. Cancers. So there is a lot of healing going on. I don't know if you're telling them that you're healed or if they are telling you that they are healed, but there is some kind of deception or there is some kind of, um, let me try an alternate route. It just came to mind. Um, some of you could be trying to get something and maybe you're being told no. So you're trying different approaches. Um, but the emperor is somebody who's pretty set. Like their mind is set. Um, so they could be trying to help you. I almost feel as if they're helping you, but there are conditions behind it. But this is going to help you heal. This is going to help you um be abundant and flourish and move forward you know the star card is all about moving forward moving into your own light leaving things in the past in order to do so so with the three of pentacles you could be collaborating with people um getting money together getting some kind of stability um could be financial could just be regular love like abundance Prosperity can come in all forms. It does not have to be monetary. But you are trying to make something more solid. I see a Every time I see this, I see a home. You know, so I feel like that you're trying to build up your home life. Maybe you're getting ready to move. Um, we do have the Knight of Wands. There is a immature energy that is around you. Um, they could kind of come in and poke digs at you or... You know, they could be bad-mouthing you, saying something behind your back or even to your face just to kind of rile you up. Um, we do have the Nine of Swords. This stresses you out. It stresses you out. Like this person could be um, saying some things about how you do something. You know, like if you are asking for help, they could be, you know, making some comments about you or you know, something along those lines. And that's what's stressing you out. It's like, no, it's not like that at all. It's like this. And, you know, and it, it just gets you riled up. So with the page of wands, I feel like that you are trying to make, um, you're trying to turn a blind eye to this, kind of get out of this energy. You're trying to make some kind of plans of moving forward. Where can I take my movement? How can I ignore this and just focus on where it is that I need to move? We have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is you healing something, okay? Now, the Three of Swords popping up, if it's the Knight of Wands who pops up and is like, hey, la, 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 la to you, this person may be the one who's heartbroken, okay? So they are the ones who could be heartbroken where you're trying to move away from their energy. It's like, you know what? Too bad, so sad. Deal with it. And with the Six of Swords, you're moving on to calmer waters. It's like you're not even dealing with this. You're just basically done with it. And you are looking out for your own emotional stability with the Nine of Cups. We have the world here. So you're building your world. You're trying to build things up. We have the Hierophant in reverse. 
My question is, and we also have justice. Um, some of you could be divorced from this person or um, they could be an ex. Um, somebody that you used to be committed to or this commitment is falling apart. Um, and that's why they're acting kind of petty. But, you know, you very well are leaving that behind. And you're leaving justice for what it is. We, you know, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So you're willing to build up your own. You're willing to take one step at a time. You are not dealing with the pettiness, even though it kind of stressed you out before. But, you know, justice is karma. Okay, so you get what you put in. We have the Ace of Cups. You could be starting a new fiery beginning, or not fiery, but a new beginning of following your heart, doing things that you love. We have the Four of Cups where you're holding back your emotion, and you could be sad about doing that, but you're kind of holding back your emotion for some things, you know, when it comes to this Queen of Wands. You could definitely be still kind of tied to this other fire sign if it is a fire sign and even though you're trying to leave the past in the past you're holding your emotions back you're not letting them know how much you truly care but with the ace of swords there could be some kind of clarity and there could be some kind of decision to come of this and something that could be balancing um putting work in to a certain situation we also have the king of wands present but you're trying to see if it's going to be worth it. So, let's see what advice Spirit has for you, Cancer. Alright, Spirit. What advice do you have for my Cancer babies? I have the Penguin, which is Diamond Light Activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. We have butterfly emerging. Take the leap of faith. One more spirit. We have the panda balance. Ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. I have the bottom deck energy of antelope. New pathways. Consider whether you are happy on your current path. This one is popping out too, so I'm going to take it, which is giraffe. The bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. So that's what I have for you today, Cancers. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.